Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to Dancing Water. My name is Susan McCulley. I'm so glad you're here for your Dancing Water daily practice. Today we are doing a series of restorative yoga poses to support your heart, your eyes, and your psoas muscle. Our focus this week at Dancing Water is on presence and our ability to be present with whatever is arising, whether it is gratitude and wonder about the amazing gifts that we have every day, no matter what else is happening, and presence with sadness and suffering and loss, which is also always ever present. Our ability to open ourselves, soften ourselves, open our eyes and our hearts, and step toward, turn toward that which is happening rather than turning away. And that's what this practice supports. So what we'll need to get started, um, it's in the show notes below, but um, I'll run through it now, and then if you need to stop, pause the recording and get anything, by all means do that. Today we need three firm pillows, as always, my favorite chicken pillow. Um, and you can get these, uh, they should be firm enough so that they won't totally collapse with, it, with weight on them. We'd like two bath towels, one blanket, I like a really soft blanket, one eye covering of some sort. And again, I like something that's soft. Um, this can be a scarf or a towel. I, I like to use a hand towel, but whatever works for you. But we're going to use it both to rest our head on and to cover eyes. And tea of some sort, a warm drink. I really love this. No matter what time of year, I practice restorative. Um, a warm beverage, a warm decaffeinated beverage, non-stimulating beverage is my preference, but some people just like water, and um, I just poured that, so by the time we finish, it'll be perfect for drinking. All right, so we're going to begin by um, just waking up the body, so I'm going to stand up, and my, the top of my head might be cut off a little bit, but what I'd like you to do is just feel your feet on the floor. And feel a wide stance. So our physical anchor today are the eyes, the heart, and the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle are these two very deep, very essential core muscles that connect from the lower lumbar spine on an angle to the inner thigh on both sides. And this muscle is very primal, and whenever we're in fear, these muscles tend to contract. So stress or uh, anxiety, alarm, will contract these muscles. In addition, modern lifestyle of a lot of sitting, um, a lot of, of constant doing, tends to harbor long held tension in these deep muscles. The thing about them is, though, that stretching doesn't work to release them. What lets them release is time and space and opening. So that's what we're going to create here. But just to get ourselves connected with these three anchor points, just find a soft knee, soft ankle, soft foot stance. Take a breath and just let your heart rotate side to side. And letting your eyes soften a little bit and so you can see the space around you. And then as you're ready, you can let your thumb come up and strike right in front of your shoulder. There's a little groove between your shoulder blade and, or not your shoulder, but your shoulder and your chest. And then you can let your back hand come around and give a gentle strike to your kidney at the back. So there's this rotation that's happening. Keep your knees soft, keep your jaw soft. Just feel this, this is a stimulation 
but also a signal for your body to relax. <sighs> Some deep, full breaths, eyes, heart, so as muscle. Yeah. Cool. And then begin to slowly slow the movement down and come to stillness. And then bring yourself down to the mat and just notice the sensation right now can you be present to the sensation that's arising in your body so let's begin with our first posture so we're going to create what I like to call the exit ramp um, a, uh, a little bit of an incline if you had a yoga bolster, you could use that here for sure. And what we want is two pillows, then one. And then cover that whole thing with your blanket. So I like to just make sure that there are no wrinkles in my blanket, because then when I'm in a posture for a while, you might start to feel them. So what we're gonna do here is called a supported locust pose. So getting this incline here, right in the uh, back end of your, of your mat, and then two, two towels on either side of the front end, and then your eye covering, place that right between the two. So there are a couple of variations for this. I'm going to show you um, the one that feels best in my body, um, but you're welcome to do the, the less, less of a stretch or less of a um, intensity by just pushing this bolster to the end a little bit further. But let me just show you. So this is a prone position. And so I'm going to take my hips and place them right at the front of the incline. So if this is too much for your back, you're welcome to move the bolster back and just have your lower legs resting on the bolster. Then get your towels right underneath your shoulders and your eye covering under your face. So settle this down and you just want to feel your legs get heavy. And your arms, your shoulders get heavy here. So again, give this a try. Just look at this, set it up and see what it feels like. And you're welcome to move the pillows down so that instead of your hips being right at the front, your knees would be right at the front. Just as you find the position that feels really good, let your breath even out. Take the edges off of your breath. Let your eyes get soft. Allow the muscles around your eyes to relax. Your eyelids, let your eyelids Feel warm and soft and heavy over your eyes. 
Now I have my head turned to one side. That feels good to me. And I also want you to be able to hear my voice. But another option is to take your hands overhead and make a pillow out of your palms or out of your fists. This is a good option as well. So just allow yourself, allow your body to tell you exactly what you need. With every exhale, letting your bones relax a little bit closer to the ground. Let them sink. And notice your heart. may feel your heart beating in your chest. And as you breathe, imagine making space around your heart. Presence requires us to have an expansive heart, to be able to take in that which is difficult as well as that which is delightful. If your head is turned to one side, gently lift it up and turn it to the other. Letting your pelvis Sink a little deeper through the fibers of muscle and connective tissue, imagining these deep muscles of the psoas on either side of your spine, just softening. Allowing your breath to do whatever it needs to do. Without interfering with the breath, just let it be gentle and shallow or perhaps sometimes deep. As my body and mind slows down, sometimes I get a sighing breath, a deep sighing breath.
Then very gently, if your hand is not resting on your hands, gently bring your hands up to your forehead. And let your forehead rest either on your hands or on your fists. Notice the sensation at the back of your neck. And then gently release your hands, take them on your towels right under your shoulders and push yourself up so that your head comes up last. So just bring your knees forward. Come up. Just gently with very soft eyelids. Just let your head turn side to side. As if you were looking to two sides, and then tip your head side to side. And then drop your head down and look up. Just notice your body reorienting. As always in this practice, we use the space in between the postures as much as the practice as the rest. So taking your eye covering and getting that ready, just having that right next to your bolster and taking your towels. Now, depending on your hips, you may just leave them like this, or if you're like me, it feels a little better to have a little more support. So I like to fold my towels like this. So they're a little bit more like a loaf. And then you're just going to leave your bolster just like it is, but definitely check. I, I just saw that my blanket got kind of messed up. So again, make sure that it's nice and smooth so that your body can relax into the surface. And now take your tailbone and take it right to the edge of your bolster. And just using the support of your hands, get long and roll down. So your head should feel supported and you should feel your body on this incline. So notice if your head is dropping off, you may need to adjust your pillows or your blanket, but you want to feel your chin a little bit lowered. This gives your nervous system a signal to relax. And then taking your heels close to your tail and let the soles of your feet come together and drop your knees onto the support of your towels. Now your hands can rest either palms down on the side or palms up. It depends what feels better to you. Whatever you choose, let your palms be really soft like new leaves curling out of branches. Just let your palms be soft. And take your eye covering. And press your soft hands into your eyes. Just give it a moment here. Soft hands inviting your eyes to relax. Another option for your hands is to let them rest on your ribs or on your belly. If that feels good, you're welcome to do that too. Take a deep breath. And intentionally sink into the support. Scan your body and see if there's any little adjustments that you want to make before you really rest into this posture. Noticing your eyes. Like two soft petaled flowers. Just 
just relaxing in the sun. Your heart open and spacious. Your psoas muscles. Not stretching, friends, just unwinding on their own, just giving them time and space to let go. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Being present for your body's natural inclination to relax. Notice where your mind goes. Sometimes as the body slows down, the mind picks up speed. Just notice where it tends to go. Are you planning? Are you remembering? Are you looking forward into the future or diving back into the past? Know that whatever your mind is doing, it's perfectly fine. The invitation of this practice is to make a choice. Make a choice about the body's support and letting go and make a choice about where we send the mind. For me, I find peace in the curiosity of sensation. Noticing the sinking sensation of my exhale and the floating sensation of my inhale. Noticing the pulse of my heart that I can feel in my chest, but also in my hands, in my lips. In the soles of my feet. Before we move out of this posture, asking yourself, how can I be more present to what's actually happening right now?
Then take a deep inhale breath. Let your ribs float up. And then very gently, using your hands, draw your knees in together. And then let them drop to one side. And let yourself roll to one side. Letting your eye covering fall off. Push yourself up. Head comes up last. Reorient into sitting. Take your time. Imagine the fluids in your body reorienting and pouring back. Let your head float. And then again, slowly taking your props. Here's what you're going to need for the next uh, posture is a sideline posture. So uh, two of the pillows, so you can set one pillow aside, one of your towels, and then something soft for your face. So I'm gonna use my eye covering. You could also use a soft blanket for your face. Put that here. And then take your loaf towel and put it a few inches below. This is where your ribs are going to go. And this may need to be adjusted. This might be a little too much. You might want a little bit less, but let's see how that feels. And I'm going to put this aside. I might use that for my face. And then have your Pillows ready for uh, in between your ankles and your knees. So we'll start on this side. So you're sitting on one hip, just like we just sat up from that posture. And then take a stretch overhead. And then let your hand come down and let your ribs soften over the towel and your arm reach out in front. I think I am going to use my blanket. Feels a little better on my neck to have a little more height. Then check out your legs. So notice I've got the two pillows, and that may depend on the size of your pillows, but you want to have both your knees and your ankles supported. So this towel feels like it needs to be a little bit further up to me, a little bit closer to my shoulder. Yeah, that feels better. So adjust, make the adjustments that you need. It also may feel better to bring your knees closer to your chest or a little bit further away. So just listen and adjust. So you can begin by just letting your top hand rest on the floor in front of you. Or you can have your top arm drape over your shoulder, over your ear. Now for me, the only way that feels really comfortable is to kind of bend my elbow a little bit so that my arm is almost on my forehead. Something about the way my shoulder hangs, it just doesn't feel that good to reach far. But what I'm inviting here is the sensation of space around your heart and ribs. Another variation of your top hand could be to rest your hand and let it just drape on your ribs and let your elbow kind of chicken wing out to the back.
You can close your eyes or you can let your hand, your eyes rest on your hand. Your palm is up and soft, your, uh, your fingers gently curling like the edges of a flower. And imagine yourself in the warm spring sun, so still, so peaceful that a butterfly could land in your palm. You are that present, that open to whatever alights into your hands, your heart. Feel your ribs. Like a clean sheet in the breeze, let them float up and down with your breath. Notice your hips, particularly your femur bones, and just see if you can let them go. They're fully supported by the pillows and the floor. Invite them to stop holding. This practice is in part about getting out of the way of your natural ability to release, recuperate, and rest. Taking just a couple more breaths here. your breath do what it will, the next couple of rounds. Now take your top hand and press down. Very gently come back up, so you're back up sitting on your hip. Now for you guys, what I'm inviting you to do is just take your legs and just rotate over to the other side. I'm going to shift to the other side so that I can be facing you. But for you, all you need to do is just roll to the other side. Set up something soft under your head. Get your towel arranged under your ribs. And let your pillows be between your knees and your ankles. Take your time setting up. 
This is, um, as always, about creating as much comfort as you can. It's not about forcing anything. Letting your bones feel the sink. And again, you can play with where you place your top hand, whether you let it rest, palm down, on the mat in front of you, overhead. Which for me on this side actually feels better. So it's another thing in these postures that we had we do on each side. It's very normal to have one side be utterly different than the other. So feel free, be responsive to what your body needs. Letting your eyes get really soft, really receptive. Whether they're behind the soft covering of your lids or whether they are resting on your palm, but with your peripheral vision expanding. So just like your ribs are expanding around your heart, your eyes are expanding beyond your small self. Still residing in sensation, but seeing more, more of you and more of the space and world around you. Remembering there's this other variation of the hands. You can rest your palm on your ribs. That feels good. Here, with your palm that's extending out, giving yourself the opportunity to just pause with something, something that feels challenging, a loss or a disappointment, a grief, and let it rest in your palm and imagine yourself just being present Present with that. There's nothing you need to do about it. You don't have to fix it. Just be present. Then imagining a lighting in your palm, a joy, a gratitude, an appreciation. Can you witness that? Can you be present to that? Holding it in your hand, with your eyes, and with your heart. Just 
taking a couple more breaths. If you like, you can even imagine both the sadness and the joy, both residing, resting in your palm and holding presence for both. Then as you're ready, letting your top hand press down into the floor. And gently, slowly coming back to upright. Take your, take your time here. Feel yourself realign. Maybe give your neck a little bit of a soft, buoyant float. And then setting your pillows aside, we're going to do uh, one more inversion, and, and one that I really wanted to share with you um, is a very essential restorative posture. And for this, you're going to need some wall space. It takes a little bit to get them get this set up but it's really worth it. And I use this posture a lot, especially if I feel rattled or if I'm having trouble sleeping. So um, if you don't have wall space, it's totally fine. You can do, there. let me just show you two options here. One is called constructive rest, which you could take um, a pillow, Place it under your hips, and then just press your feet wide and your knees in. That's an option. It's also an option to have a chair and rest your legs like this. You can imagine a chair under your legs. So those are both options if you don't have um, wall space. So with empty wall space, Take a pillow um, or and or a towel, something that's going to give you a little bit of lift. I think I'm going to use the two towels because I want it to be kind of just under my low back. And now make sure that in this space here, that you have some kind of comfort, some kind of softness. So uh, a carpet, um, a, a blanket, um, whatever, um, will give you a little bit of, of soft. Then take your body and sit on your bolster or your towels and just roll back. So begin by rolling back and then extend your legs up the wall so that your sits bones are as close to the wall as you can get and your legs are resting on the wall so you may need to kind of lift up a little bit and adjust the support under your hips some people like to do this without any support under your hips so if it feels funky, you're welcome to experiment with no support there and just have your sacrum, your low back, resting on the, the carpet. Now, just feel your shoulders relax. And you can take your eye covering and just as we did before, letting the soft hands remind your eyes to let go. Now, if you're getting cool, sometimes when I'm doing these practices, my body temperature tends to go down. And so you may choose to take a blanket across your belly or even drape it over your legs if that feels supportive and warm. But I'm going to stay like this so you can see my body. And 
And now here, feeling this waterfall of energy, you're releasing not just your psoas muscle, but also your heart, reversing the flow, letting the fluids in your legs pour down, letting the bones hang in the opposite direction to what they usually do. So imagining the tops of your femur bones relaxing into your pelvis. And with that, these deep psoas muscles letting go of their own accord, pouring down. Breathing again into the spaces around your heart, knowing that this posture or legs on the chair or constructive rest, they all give the heart a break. And as you breathe, feeling the possibility of your heart relaxing into presence. Your heart exchanging blood and pumping life through your body, but also receiving that which is joyful, grateful, the silver linings, the wonder, and also the sorrow, the sadness. this human life, we have both always, always. Let your heart soften and open to both. licking your lips and swallowing. Feeling your throat and neck. This bridge between your mind and your heart. Noticing your feet sometimes can you feel some tingling or some numbness that happens in your feet. Feel free to slide your feet down the, the wall if that happens. And breathing some spaciousness into your eyes. Like two Pacific oceans, tranquil and still and expansive, your eyes available to see everything.
your spacious eyes, able to take it all in. Then gently as you're ready, feeling your eyes and your heart and your psoas muscle. If you haven't already, slowly let your heels draw down the wall. Move your knees toward your chest. If your um, knees are on a chair, you can gently draw your knees into your chest and roll to one side. If you're in constructive rest, or any other posture, take your one arm overhead, roll to one side and pause. So just pause here for a moment. Let yourself reorient. You may feel the blood shift in your legs. And then use your top hand and push up. Take your time. You have your tea, your water. Feel yourself here. So just find yourself in a comfortable seat. If you're chilly, you may want to have a blanket around you. Or again, I like to sometimes just have a blanket to support my belly. And letting your palms rest upward on your thighs. Let your heart lift a little bit. Let your chin fall a little bit. Let your eyes, even behind closed lids, broaden a little bit. And with your palms up here, asking yourself, what is something that I want to take with me? What is something I want to bring with me from this practice? Something I want to cultivate. And with that intention, taking your tea or your water, pausing to feel the vessel that it's in, feel its temperature, maybe smell it, and then take a sip. Watering the seeds of that which you would like to cultivate. And then pausing one more time, this time with palms down. Letting your heart open, your eyes soften, the back of your neck get long. And ask yourself, what would you like to put down? What would you like to let go of? Get very clear. What is it that I no longer need? And then plant it. Let it go. And take your tea. And pause. Set that intention again with a sip. Friends, thank you. Thank you for practicing with me. 
My name is Susan. You can find all of the Dancing Water daily practices on my YouTube channel. Please, I invite you to subscribe there. Click the, the bell for notifications so you get a, get a notice every time I post something new. And help me share the practices that we do here. Feel free to share this with a friend. Pass it on on social media. Or if you are inclined and these practices are something that you are interested in supporting, there's a link below where you can contribute to the Dancing Water Daily Community. Your generous support allows me to continue to create these practices for you, which is my life's work and my passion. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Have a restorative day. Mwah.